Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it's the 26th day of December, and we have kind of a scaled-down version of your weather video this morning. We'll get back to a regular size, more meteor version uh, tomorrow morning. We have a lot to talk about, a cold week ahead with a series of disturbances, and in some parts of the region, that cold air could interact with the moisture in a, um, a frozen precipitation way. I don't think that's going to happen here locally, but you're going to see that that's going to be a problem, and it's going to be a close call for parts of Alabama. And then what happens towards New Year's Day and New Year's Eve? We could have a situation in Alabama that involves some uh, frozen precipitation. We'll look at that as well as another Arctic blast is on the way. Are you ready? Here comes your Tuesday morning weather video. Cold morning this morning with freezing temperatures all the way down to South Alabama, getting close to the coast. And you go farther north and you see some uh, teens and single digits. Then you get into below zero from the Ohio Valley on northward. Tonight, the first of two disturbances, mostly rain for central South Alabama, but there could be a mix, perhaps, maybe on the extreme northern end of that tomorrow morning. North central Alabama, the models disagree on that right now. Here's midnight tonight showing mostly rain on this model. There's no hint of any freezing precipitation, but again, it'll be a tricky situation way up north. Partly sunny today, high 53. Rain tonight, I don't think it's going to be heavy at all. Low temperature tonight by tomorrow morning around 36 with east winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's tomorrow morning, the area of rain covering much of the state of Alabama and adjoining states, uh, not particularly heavy. And we get into noon, the rain starts to taper off. That's disturbance number one. Then we look towards the Gulf of Mexico and we see disturbance number two approaching. As we get into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, kind of a tricky situation. You see that orange on the map over in Georgia? Maybe a mix developing as colder air approaches along the, from the eastern, uh, eastern uh, areas uh, along high pressure. So with that easterly flow, what's called a cold air damming, we see some mixed precipitation in Georgia getting very close to east central Alabama as we get into um, the Thursday night and Friday time frame. So uh, again, this is a, a tricky situation that needs to be monitored. I think for most of us, though, we will be dry, but it's going to be a close call. Arctic blasts coming in again on Saturday with another Arctic cold front, much like last week. And then by Sunday night, a little disturbance behind it brings in a potential mix of precipitation, perhaps central and south Alabama, and maybe some snow in north Alabama. Now, this may change. It may be all gone on future forecasts, but right now we're going to have to mention at least the possibility as we get into Sunday night, New Year's Eve, into Monday morning. This is Monday morning at 6 a.m., New Year's Day, with a wintry Arctic blast coming in back behind it so you got the chance of rain in here uh tomorrow and also we'll have to mention a 40 percent chance thursday and at least a small chance on friday with temperatures here uh in the 40s for highs on wednesday and thursday 50 on friday and then maybe another mix coming in as we get into sunday night into uh, monday that's certainly a possibility as the arctic blast comes in with highs only in the upper 30s to around 40 according to uh, this model, this is the European, and highs only around 40 on New Year's Day and maybe even even colder than that. The uh, GFS is indicating a high close to 40 with low temperatures in the 20s. So some really uh, cold winter conditions coming in this week and a tricky forecast, which will have to be monitored. Your weather app is going to be great this week, keeping you up to date on all the weather changes with 10-day forecast, hourly forecast, plus current conditions and access to my videos and the blog updates, which is going to be critical. Go to the App Store today. Get it on your phone. Uh, just search Rich Thomas Weather. So let me tell you what you probably already know. The forecast is very complicated for the next eight days, and you're going to hear people uh, posting stuff, or you're going to see people posting stuff on Facebook, which is absolutely wrong, just wrong, because people do crazy stuff when there's a possibility of, of uh, winter weather. They just lose their head. We'll keep you up to date on the forecast. I'll have another video for you first thing tomorrow morning and blog updates as needed, so keep it right here. I'll see you later. Have a good day.